What's interesting in this commentary to the sutta, to the Sutta Nipata that I've mm. been working on, mm. we get a substantial passage which gives the Buddha's daily schedule yeah. from the time he wakes up in the, according to this passage, he just yeah. sleeps like, we would say probably two or three hours a night. Uh -huh. So what takes place from the time he wakes up, after waking up, I think he spends some time first doing walking meditation. Wow. And then he sits down and he enters into what is called the meditative attainment of great compassion, where he extends the compassion over the world. Mm -hmm. Then he ponders, are there any beings that are in my need, that have need of me today that I could benefit? Mm -hmm. And so he starts sort of scanning the people in his environment to see whether there is anybody that he should go to that has a special need. And if not, then he just follows the regular daily routine of going on alms round in the morning, then giving an inspiring discourse to the monks after the midday meal, mm -hmm. then spending the afternoon with other activities, then in the evening, the lay people from the surrounding community environment, or the neighborhood come to the monastery and he gives a discourse to them. Mm -hmm. Then Again, in the evening, he'll spend some more time in meditation, then give another discourse to the monks later in the evening. And then in the middle of the night, late at night, when everybody else is asleep, then the devas, the deities from the sure. different world systems come to visit the Buddha. And then the Buddha gives them he instruction. He teaches them, so they have like the yeah. night shift. <laughs> yeah, exactly, the night shift. Because we get a large selection of texts, particularly in the first part of the Sangyutta Nikaya, which are the, Bo the Buddha's teachings to the deities. How fascinating, a day in the life of the Buddha. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, nice. this is the Buddha's daily routine. Yeah, yeah.